Hey, I just wanted to shut this video about Copilot, the free one that you can use with your personal account because there is a feature where you can talk with Copilot and have a conversation. Actually, I'm using that. You know, it's also on my mobile and I'm using that. I'm at the dinner table when we're discussing with my wife about a subject and we want to have a quick answer. We don't want to look on the internet. We just want to talk and have an answer. So let's see how it works. What's got you feeling down? Hey, I'm trying to find a good argumentation on the benefit of doing a return investment analysis on Copilot for Microsoft 365. Do you have any insight to share with me? Return on investment ROI analysis for Copilot in Microsoft 365 is crucial for a few reasons. It helps in measuring the direct and indirect value that Copilot brings to businesses. For example, it can highlight cost savings from increased productivity, improved decision making with data, informed insights, and even reduced costs from better resource management. It can also justify investment in AI and automation tools by demonstrating how Copilot can streamline workflows and reduce the time spent on repetitive tasks. This analysis could be a powerful tool to show stakeholders the financial impact and strategic benefits of integrating Copilot. Okay, but what, what, what kind of indicators should I measure? You'll want to look at several to get a full picture. Financial indicators like cost savings, revenue growth, and return on investment are key. Employee productivity and satisfaction are also important as they can reflect how well the tools are being adopted and used. And don't forget about... Okay, but how can I measure revenue growth correlated to Copilot? I don't see the connection here. Can you en enlighten me? Sure. Think about how Copilot can help companies increase productivity and streamline workflows. If businesses can accomplish more in less time, they can potentially take on more projects, serve more clients, or improve the quality of their existing services. Okay, but so, so how do I identify those workflow that can be impacted positively with the help of Copilot? Start by assessing your current processes. Look for tasks that are repetitive, time-consuming, or require a lot of manual effort. These are prime spots where Copilot's automation and smart suggestions can streamline workflows, reduce errors, and boost productivity. Okay, can you give me some examples of those workflows, like for example in HR? Sure. In HR, Copilot can streamline tasks like generating employee onboarding materials, answering common policy questions, and even drafting responses to routine employee inquiries. In sales, Copilot can help by analyzing customer data to identify leads, drafting personalized email responses, and even providing insights on customer preferences. These are just a few examples, but there are plenty more ways to make your workflow smoother with Copilot. Okay, thank you. Got so as you can see, it generated a very nice conversation that makes sense with very good arguments. And I have the, the text here, if I want to go back on the text that was um, said and copy some of the element for something. So I just want to sh shut this video or shoot this video just to show you the power of talking with Copilot. But unfortunately, it's not available in the Copilot for Microsoft 365, you have to use the Copilot, the free Copilot with your personal identity. You can see my personal uh, in, uh, photo here, but it's it's super powerful. And on top of that, you can do that on your phone. Obviously, you can do the same thing on ChatGPT. But you know, since Copilot is is free, available, it works. There's no lag like you can have with ChatGPT or sometimes ChatGPT tells me the you know I, I it cannot work anymore it cannot talk to me anymore because I use it too much here you don't have that kind of problem and you have the same quality of response 
it might be a little bit of a lag at the beginning and you might want to go through the process to choose the the language i don't remember uh, if i chose the the, the the speaker the kind of speaker i want uh, but it's pretty impressive and i can use it every time and not only just for work but definitely for personal usage so that was the the aim of this video to introduce the people who didn't know that feature that you can talk to Copilot and it can be a good companion in any kind of discussion. Hope this was insightful.